Hi, I'm Josh. It's uh, basically the second day of spring in the UK and it's really snowy. So I'm gonna go for a little winter walk with the drone. Um, I've got my massive hood on, so I can't really hear. I've got this hat, which, uh, well, my mum knitted it for me, so I have to wear it. But keeping me warm, in fact, it's quite chilly now. I preferred it with the hood on. Um, but I got a nice jacket on and my lower pro backpack with the drone. So, um, but yeah, can't miss the opportunity to go for a little bit of a fly in the snow. Not recommended because you'll probably ruin your drone. But, you know, I passed the park, loads of kids sledging and going down the hill. But I need to go somewhere a bit quieter because the drone's just going to cause panic. Go hat back on. Willow was using it as a tea cozy earlier to keep the tea warm, um, but it just means I can't really see or hear anything. But it does keep me warm, even though I do look ridiculous. I look like someone going on an Arctic expedition. In hindsight, I should probably have bought some snacks or something in case I'm trapped out here for days. This is the southwest of England. I haven't seen snow like this in. Uh, couple of years now so it's nice to get out and experience it it's going to just rain not gonna miss it might not see it for another few years I would drive to the spot where I'm going to but our car didn't make it up the hill it just got sort of a little bit up and just slid slowly back down so I had to park it up for the night checked on it in the morning it's uh, just sort of buried in the snow snow drift. Lovely this walk is. It's even nicer in the snow. This is the first of the two tunnels which is an old railway tunnel. This whole line I'm walking on used to have tracks and this is the first of the uh, the two tunnels in Bath. They make it nice and dark in the tunnel because of uh, the bats so they've got reduced uh, lighting. But yeah, snow's ended. And now into the tunnel. Spooky. You can tell how uh, much the temperature has dropped in this tunnel with the uh, icicles hanging from the walls and ceiling. It's pretty crazy. It's uh, really solid. Compared to outside, it's uh, a lot cooler in the tunnel, but it's very quiet and it's a lot darker than it normally is. I think they've reduced the lighting because of um, bats. Maybe they're sleeping or hibernating or breeding or doing something for the winter. Back out into the snow. I think I need to put the hat back on. I'm in a pretty deserted bit now. I haven't seen anyone for about five minutes. It's very quiet. And uh, once I get under this tunnel, I'll be far enough away from buildings and houses and people to uh, launch the Mavic, launch the drone up. Can't go too high because I'll hit the trees and that is not where I want to be. But I think it'd be quite cool to see it kick up some snow and see what shots I get. He's ready to go. I'm obviously not going to launch him from here because he'll fall off and I'm going to take off the cover. So I'm going to hand launch it because there's no nice flat bit to launch it off that isn't covered in snow.
Dominic is back and has survived. Now, the snow's getting pretty heavy now. Um, don't do this with your own stuff. <laughs> okay, so I've uh, dried the Mavic off as best as I can, brushed off any ice or water. When I get home, I'll um, give him a proper dry to make sure no electrical components are damaged because it costs money. So if you are gonna fly in the cold, I might as well give you some tips. Uh, number one, make sure you look after yourself. Wrap up warm, wear like fingerless gloves. I'm not wearing any gloves um, because you'll need to be able to touch the screen, particularly in an emergency. Um, bring some snacks in case you get cold and bring like a cloth or something to wipe down your drone or equipment to make sure it doesn't get wet or um, fogs up. Keep your batteries warm because a cold battery can cause the voltage to drain a lot quicker so I keep mine in my pocket um, as I'm getting to the place. The biggest tip would probably be don't actually fly in the snow or really cold weather at all because it can be dangerous just as you wouldn't fly in the rain or when it's really windy. Just keep it at home. I'm just a bit silly. Anyway, I'm going home, hood's going back on and uh, I'm going to go have a cup of tea.